Hey guys, good evening. It's me again, Andre of Cinemoff.com. Today I've got something completely different. No hot toys, no Ender Bay, nothing concerning anything um, about figures or action figures or 1.6 scale stuff. What you see here is my Super Edge Elder Predator resin model kit. And today I want to talk to you about this stuff here, Epoxy Scarlet. It's a modeling compound and I will give you a little tour of what this product does and what you can do with this. But first there's something other. I wanted to show you the effective Nick Fury um, suitcase. So actually I got this one and first it was in perfect shape and then after some time the light up function got totally defective. Uh, it actually lights up just only on the on, on, on one half part of the suitcase and the other half is just completely gone dark. So pretty unfortunate, especially um, because I ordered this one from an eBay seller and well he was um, honest enough to give me a little refund because it was just too complicated to have this thing um, sent back to Hong Kong and then he, he uh, would have to go to the Toy Sapien store and get this thing replaced maybe and he, he couldn't guarantee me the replacement so he just refunded me for $25 so thanks for the refund and um, eBay seller was the grey man and now I have to look probably I get a, another one a new one on eBay but the buy now prices are extremely high totally overpriced for just this thing alone you pay about 59 US dollars for a buy now option and if you um, decide to get into bidding they will end up about on 45 to 50 US dollars. Well so then let's begin with the main part of my actual video here which goes around this subject here, epoxy sculpt which is a modeling compound by the producer Aves. And the main problem I have with my Elder Predator by Super Edge is the mandible in the upper right corner. I damaged it because there was something falling on his head, as usually you know. And these uh, resin kits are extremely, extremely fragile. So I needed a solution to get this mandible fixed. After some googling I found this epoxy scout uh, which was highly praised inside um, collectors and modelers um, circles and on eBay I got to the store, the history store, which has quite a good, um, a good deal on this for the actual product that paid a thing, 10 US dollars and for shipping another 10 to Switzerland. So it was quite fair, since you don't get this uh, epoxy cut that cheap here in Europe. There are four steps listed. I will show you them directly on the product itself. So first off, you start with step one. You got two halves, half A and half B. Both parts you have to mix together on equal parts. So you need 50% here, 50% here, and you just have to take out a little bit and mix them together. So here we've got the, the black one, which is actually a gray, gray stuff. And the translucent plastic has actually the black stuff in it. So you just take a little bit, take a little bit from the other stuff. And it's very important, very, very important that you take about 50% of each product, A and B.
then you just knead these two halves together to form a unified mass. And produce definitely warns you about, so if you don't use 50% of each product, you won't have a good result in the end. So after that you get the fully workable product and you have about 2-3 to three hours of working time to spend um, customizing this little uh, mass here. And over time it dries, it continues to dry. Uh, you can use some water to, to make it a bit more, a bit more easy and, and open for customizing if it hardens too fast. That's about it. So from a little ball like this I sculpted a little mandible for my elder predator which was yesterday and now I show you the little result on okay here we go here we got the bad boy elder predator it's probably one of my most valuable model kits I have this awesome paint job of a German pro painter and as you see there are these four mandibles and the upper right I customize with epoxy sculpt. I think it looks quite okay now. And of course, the next step would be to paint this mandible up. Um, probably I should have ordered the natural or white colored epoxy sculpt, but probably it will it will work also with the black one. And of course, you can. Do some, some grinding and carving and sanding after the 24 hour cure time and in the end the product should be fully waterproofed after 24 hours. So hopefully wish me luck on painting this little mandible but I think I should do the job since there are not so many different color variations. Oh, and then there was another thing. I actually had another predator accident recently. So just a second, guys. Well, guys, you know the bigger brother of Super Edge Elder Predator. It is, of course, the NECA 18 inch P1. Also, he took a fall from a shelf, and unfortunately, NECA didn't use a glue that good on the mandibles, and somehow it just it just fell off, and I have no idea where it landed. <laughs> so I decided why not to re-sculpt the mandible with epoxy sculpt, and I think it turned out quite okay. It's not perfect now in shape, but with a little sanding and painting, probably it will look okay again. So as you see, epoxy sculpt is a very versatile product. You can use it in different ways and manners and I think especially for little repairs on our beloved model kits and stuff, it's a perfect product. So guys, thanks for watching. Also thanks to all my new subscribers on this channel. You are such a cool crowd out there and thanks for any comments and especially I greet um, Nanny D from Switzerland. Hey Nanny, I hope you're having a good time in Zurich and until later, bye bye guys.